Our other top story tonight, work at the Capitol in Salem on hold now after Republicans walked out over the cap and trade climate bill. And our Lisa Balick has been covering this story for several days now, and she's in Salem, continues to be, to find out exactly how this impacts all of you. She's live at the Capitol now. Lisa? Well, if you care about foster care, if you care about the homeless situation, if you care about where your money's being spent, then you may want to care about what's not going on inside there. Today, Oregon lawmakers are supposed to be debating over where to spend $500 million of taxpayers' money. The governor wants about $12 million in disaster relief after the floods in Umatilla County. She announced today she can find $2 million using a state loan to repair the levy, but she needs lawmakers back here to approve the rest. Legislators are also supposed to vote on spending millions to prevent wildfires by thinning forests and adding more firefighters. Also now on hold. A bill to help foster kids get permanent homes was on the House floor for a vote Monday when House Republicans walked out. We would be able to take 700 kids in Oregon's foster care system today and get them adopted by September. These are kids for whom the only thing sitting between them and a forever family is the completion of the paperwork to make that happen. There's a bill to require gun owners to lock up their weapons to prevent accidental deaths and suicides. Today, I talk with House Speaker Tina Kotek, who represents the Portland area. She's sponsoring a bill to declare a homeless state of emergency and spend $45 million to help with beds and services. It's about saying to local government, we are going to make it easier for you to site new shelters so we can get more shelter beds online by the fall. That's what the bill's about. And if we can't pass the bill, we don't get new shelter capacity by the fall. Republican lawmakers who left say they're not coming back until Democrats either kill the cap and trade bill or send it to the public for a vote. They say that's what their voters want. For now, Democrats say no. So I just ask my colleagues to come back, vote no, collect signatures, sue the state, don't let it get implemented, but just cast your vote. Yes, no, move on to the next bill. Now, I did check in with Republican leadership staff who is here in the building. They say there are no updates. Their members are still gone. Both some are in state as well as out of state. But also I checked today and the Senate's Rules Committee did meet just with Democrats and they voted on a measure that would bar lawmakers from using campaign funds to pay fines or other items such as expenses from unexcused absences. But in order to make that a law, they would need the Republicans back here. Live in Salem, Lisa Bailick, Coin 6 News.